Hello everyone, Amy R. here for Prairie Paper and Ink, and I have a card trio to share with you guys using some a couple of products that I just got and just showed in a haul video. I couldn't even put them away before I wanted to pull them out and play with them. So I decided to make three cards because, as always, I couldn't decide on what color combos to use. So I've got several Distress Ink minis here and some Tim Holtz Distress watercolor cardstock. And I have the smooth side facing up and I just keep the little foam um, pads for the mini ink blending tool. I've shown this before, but for those that haven't seen it, I keep them in the bottom of the ink cubes. I don't have Velcro or anything in there to hold them. Um, they just fit perfectly right in there. So I keep one little foam pad for each color and then I only have a few, I think I have about half a dozen little handles. And I'm just sponging the colors onto the smooth side of the watercolor cardstock. I'm not concentrating too much on getting a perfect blend, but at least a decent blend. And in the end, it, you won't be able to tell that it's not perfect. So I super sped up this because I ended up doing the three pieces and this video would take forever otherwise. And I use a scrap of cardstock when I have the um, sponged cardstock almost covered. That just keeps um, the ink transferring onto my fingers and marks from my fingers from happening. So with the pink one, I did sponge sugar, picked raspberry, and abandoned coral. And then I pull off the um, foam pads, put them back in the bottom of those colors of Distress Inks. And then I go on to my next combo, which is squeezed lemonade, wild honey, and carved pumpkin. And force a habit with me is I generally go lightest to darkest. So with the yellow one, I had started with squeezed lemonade, then I added the wild honey, and then I added the carved pumpkin. And again, using the scrap of paper just to keep the ink from getting all over my fingers. <laughs> and Gavin's in his playpen, making, making sure you all can hear him. <laughs> he has quite the opinion. And then for the blue combo, I used cracked pistachio, peacock feathers, and mermaid lagoon. And once I was done sponging all of them, I trimmed them all down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I just used my paper trimmer for that. Shocker, I know. I usually use my, my favorite things, Blueprints Dynamics. But this time I decided to just use a paper cutter. More so because it won't matter whether I'd use Blueprints or not. Um, that's a whole other story in itself. I just prefer the edge the dies give it. But I'm going to be embossing these. So... I removed the scratch paper I was using and just did this on my craft mat here. And I sprayed all of these pieces with water with my Distress Sprayer, which I absolutely love. You must own one. If you don't, they're, it's so awesome. If you only squeeze the trigger halfway, you get splatters like this. So I splattered all the pieces at once, let it sit for about 30 seconds or so, and then just laid down a piece of paper towel to absorb that water and I get the splatter effect. And then I quickly set it with my heat tool just to dry it faster. And then I did it a second time. So I spritzed it again with the sprayer, only pressing the trigger about halfway down and made sure to kind of really get a good um, spritz over all of these pieces. And then same thing, let it sit for about 30 seconds to 45 seconds roughly. And then press the paper towel down onto it to so soak up that excess water. And then I get this awesome splatter effect. And that right there, um, kind of undoes the need to blend those colors so perfectly when sponging because the splatter effect, you know, takes the eye away from that. So I did that and then I got out my Big Shot and I have the multi-purpose platform here open to the third tab and then I'm using my new to me, this is the next level embossing folder from We Are Memory Keepers. This is the heart one. So I lined up the, um, watercolor spritzed um, pieces that I had sponged and everything into the embossing folder, making sure that I had it so that the hearts were um, being bumped up and then ran that through my machine. And you have to use quite a bit of force to run it through the machine with um, the watercolor paper, but it creates this awesome heart embossed background. Super, super fun. Absolutely love it. So I did that with all three pieces. So I got this really, really fun embossed um, background. And then I pulled out, this is the Hero Arts Love Set and Coordinating Die, which again, I showed this in a haul video forever ago and I've been wanting to use this before Valentine's Day, come, Valentine's Day is here, which is like 
three days away. <laughs> so I'm really running late with these Valentine's videos, but I had to use this. I love the font of the love. So I die cut it from some white cardstock. And then I used that same piece and applied some of my honeycomb adhesive just along the edges to basically temporarily adhere the die cuts to this scrap of cardstock. And then I pressed my Versamark ink pad right into or on top of all the love die cuts. And then I coated them with the new, um, well, new to me again, um, the wow embossing powder that I just showed in that last video with, which is the pearl gold sparkle. So coated them with that and then heat set that with my heat tool until it was just melted. So it was, and this is the easiest way. Um, I find that you need to kind of do this after they're already die cut. If you die, if you like just emboss cardstock and then try and die cut it, um, the embossing powder can crack and look funny. So it works better to do it just the way I showed. And I funneled back the embossing powder back into um, the container using my little coffee filter there. And then I just folded over that scratch paper because it was super sticky from all that Versamark ink. And I didn't want that, you know, coating my hands or the embossed cardstock or anything like that. So I just folded over that piece so I don't get, um, yeah, Versamark everywhere. And then I used one of my favorite things, Heart Dynamics, and die cut some vellum. And then I coated each piece of vellum with um, some anti-static powder from the anti-static powder tool. And then I'm lining up each heart on these grid lines here so that I can stamp everything straight. And I'm just stamping the coordinating stamps from that same stamp set and lining up the love die where I plan on adhering it. And then each one I stamped a different sentiment from the set. And then there were all these little um, hearts in the set as well. So I stamped those onto uh, the vellum hearts. And then I coated all of these with detail white embossing powder this time. And made sure to stamp the hearts in areas where I can apply adhesive to, which I will show in a minute. So once I was done stamping, I did each heart separately. So I stamped the sentiment, stamped the little hearts, and then quickly hit them with my heat tool, which on vellum melts literally in seconds. And then I'm going to adhere each of the love die cuts with my Ranger Multimedium Matte Adhesive that I've got this fine tip applicator uh, added to. I've had a lot of people asking about this. The applicator that I always link to right beside the adhesive, I just switched the tips on the bottles. I don't refill the bottle that the applicator comes on. Um, yeah, I just switch the um, caps basically. And I've got this super fine detail applicator on my original multimedia matte bottle, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. So once that's all adhered, I apply the same adhesive right behind those embossed hearts as well as it behind the love die cut so that you can't see any of the adhesive through the vellum and then press those onto each um, embossed sponged background that I created and I held it for a few seconds until it was adhered and then for my card bases I had scored everything with my Teflon bone folder they're just heavyweight white cardstock and I stamped a little scrolly heart stamp on the inside with um, Hero Arts black ink and then I used the same distress inks in the same coordinating colors to just stamp those same little hearts on the inside just to kind of finish it off. I um, mean, you could definitely stamp like Happy Valentine's Day on the inside because that sentiment is included in the set. But I decided to forego that since Valentine's Day is just about here and I already have a bunch of Valentine's cards. So I thought I would make these more um, technically Valentine's Day, but with the intention to use them for any time of the year. And I used score tape to adhere these embossed panels. I didn't want to press too hard with my ATG or like an adhesive runner. So I just used score tape to adhere them to my card bases. And that way also it holds it really, really well because it's really strong adhesive. And that was it for these cards. So if you're interested in any of the supplies used, um, the link to my blog post, all that sort of stuff, um, all that info is in the description box directly below the video. So check that out if any of this interests you. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing, and thumbs upping my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.